We are visiting cassava farmers in the Zambo district of Uganda. The farmers are growing new disease-resistant cassava clones as part of a community variety trial. Farmer-centered variety trials like this one directly engage communities and researchers together to develop new technologies in the spirit of collaboration. The initiative is led by Ugandan scientists in partnership with NextGen Cassava. NextGen researchers hope to market new cassava varieties that will resist damage from cassava mosaic disease, known as CMD. CMD is caused by a virus spread by whiteflies. The virus significantly limits cassava production across the African continent. <laughs> First, I've started digging cassava in, in 1984, when I was 10 years old. And the challenges I faced, first of all is what? Is the cassava mosaic, and then some of the cassava we plants, they do not produce well. How long have you been seeing symptoms of cassava mosaic? Since I was started digging. Yeah. Mm. The, the, the best example is this one here. So the leaves are, are not okay. If the cassava is attacked, attacked by the mosaic, it can't produce well. These are the, when you look at this cassava, it has signs of CMD, you can see the leaves. This is what a farmer can see, or extension worker can see, but when we go down, if the tuber was there, we'll also see down the tuber, but for this one here, yeah, this is the first and immediate check where you can see that there is a CMD heavily infested in this uh, cassava, the local variety, which most of our farmers, they grow in this locality or in this district. Researchers are using a community-based approach to their crop improvement work. A diverse panel of farmers in this community have each been given randomized cassava clones to evaluate. Scientists will use the farmers' feedback as they work towards developing a new variety for the region. Anne Rita Nenyonjo is a research assistant working with the survey division of the Next Generation Cassava Project. Her team is working to bring the needs of communities to the center of the plant breeding process with new participatory research methods. Farmers are now engaged in the evaluations because at the end of the day we are generating varieties for these men and women to use. So they also need to evaluate these clones before they go out there to them. So breeders based on their evaluations, the evaluations of men and women, as well as their other agronomic evaluation. So participatory variety evaluation involves both evaluating for agronomic traits, but also for quality traits like processing traits or traits related to the market or to the final product. And these farmers are like the end users of, of so it involves the end users of this variety at that stage. We are right now in Nyapea sub-county. It's one of the sub-counties in Zombo district. So we are at one of the farmer's fields. So we are looking at having a highland variety at the end of the day. Evaluations were done at the District Farm Institute previously. So there are very many clones, over 300 clones. Selections have been done over time until when eventually we have 10 clones. So these clones are what we now have in the participatory varietal trials. We as NACRI have adopted the triadic comparison of technologies or in short tricot where we have each farmer doing personal evaluation of our clones. 
Previously, we used to have mother-baby trials where evaluations were done by farmers in our group. But with this type of, of evaluation, each farmer is doing their personal evaluation. So we came to the, to the community. We entered the community through the extension agent who co co contacted the different farmer groups in this district. So we selected about um, four farmer groups and in each of those groups we selected some men and some women to do the evaluations for us. So we have about uh, 30 farmers. So each farmer was given three clones. Actually, we randomized the 10 clones across all the 30, the 30 farmers. And each farmer was given a number. And then in addition to the three, we wanted to see how these clones are performing compared to their local so. In that, we also included one local check on the same field. So we do an assessment, first of all, uh, comparing these three clones, but then at the end of the day, we also want to compare these three with, with the local. Farmers need to be centered in the development of any new crop variety. In the case of mosaic-resistant cassava, the early impressions are positive. The plants look healthy so far even under heavy pest pressure. For the farmers, the ultimate proof, however, will come with a successful harvest. What is your opinion of the test clones compared to the local variety? We, we are just seeing whether, whether the old one can produce well, or these clones can produce well, but we are, but we are still looking. We should, we are still looking which one will produce well. It's very evident, even when you walk through the, the field, that the local is succumbing to mosaic and ours are tolerating or resisting. So we'll be checking that until the end to see. But generally, our clones are performing very well regarding resistance to mosaic as compared to the local. For the local, the, 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 the symptoms are just so profound, you can even see them from a distance, yeah, compared to, to ours. One thing which I've seen in all the demo sites is that the local shake that have been put in place for these clones, they succumb to CMD. Unlike these new varieties or clones that have been introduced, None of them have shown uh, signs of CMD in all the 30 uh, demo sites I've uh, visited. This is a good sign for us uh, as extensionists and also farmers because the major challenge has been the CMD which has destroyed most crops and farmers have been spending a lot of time and resources yet they get m nothing. For just on my side, I love this growth very much because because the because by the very time they begin coming to us every month they used to come and visit us here and they question us some little little question about the cassava and and, and about about how they are doing our next step we are going to do every three months evaluation but for now it's going to be done by our extension agents and then at the end we'll do final evaluation and then look at the data set and then we will select which are the best so from there the breeder will now start looking thinking about um, multiplying the clone so that they have enough planting material and then also applying for, 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 for varietal release. So, and then these will also be tested in the varietal release trials, yeah. So that's the next step. We are actually towards the end of this all. So at the end of the day, we want to have a super nice highland variety.